Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've got a little e-commerce site here, it's built with the Divi theme. And what we're going to do today is show you how to actually add a product categories page. We're going to show you three different ways of doing it. First two will work with any WordPress theme. The third one is unique to the Divi theme. So let's get started. I'm going to go down to my dashboard here. OK, and let's go down to our products and we'll add a new category. I've got a lot of products on this site, so I'm going to go to products. I'm going to go down to categories. And let's add a new category. Let's call it perhaps close out. And I'll call it the same for the slug. You can give it this uh, parent category if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. I'm going to hit add new category. I'm not going to give it a thumbnail today. OK, well, there's our new category. So now we've got to actually assign some products to our new category. So I'm going to go over to all products. Here's our products. The easiest way of assigning to categories I find is to go in there, hit the quick edit. It will give you a list of categories there. Choose the products you want, obviously, and add them to your new category. Close out. There it is. Hit the update button. And there we go. We've actually added this one to our close out. And you'll see it in the categories up here. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to add, say, another six products or something like that. No point you watching me. I'll pause it while I'm doing that. OK, well, I've added several products to our close out category here now. So the first way to add a new page and the easiest way of doing it is to go down. We'll go down to our appearance and then menus. And if we look down here, we've got categories and product categories. Categories is not what we want. Product categories is what we want. If you don't see product categories down here, and quite often you won't, it's not there by default. What you want to do is go up to the top of the screen where it says screen options up here. Make sure that you've got product categories checked there. That way it'll appear. And you can check anything else that you may want to appear down there. A lot of people have problems finding that and it's a really simple solution. So make sure you've got that checked up there and you'll find product categories here. So once it's there, I'm going to click on the little arrow there well, I'm going to add our latest category. There it is right there. Close out. So add it to the menu. And by default, it adds it to the bottom of the menu here. Let's dra drag it up and put it somewhere else. Let's put it under our clearance items, perhaps at the top here as a sub item. To make a, an item a sub item, just simply when you drop it in there, it's going to be a regular item. To put it down below something, just drag it to the left let go of your mouse and you'll see it's a sub item and it'll be offset a little bit there and again if you want to do a sub item of that you can do the same thing again okay well we've got our little page and we saved our menu let's take a look at it menu saved now let's go ahead and visit the site here's our clearance there's our little close out And there it is. We've got our little products displayed on a generic page. So that's one way of doing it, really easy. Let's move on to another way of doing it. We're going to use a short code for this today. So let's add a new page. And we'll call this Close Out Items. Obviously, it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to use the Divi Builder for this. OK, I want to build from scratch. I'm going to add a single column for this. You can use a text module if you want. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. Plenty enough to build just about any site. And I'll show you the Woo modules in a minute in the next build that we're going to build. You can either use a code module for this or a text module will do too. So I'm going to use a code module. And I'm going to insert what they call a WooCommerce shortcode. Let's open some square brackets. Inside those square brackets, I'm going to say product category or product underscore category. Product underscore 
category. Then we've got to tell it what category we want to display. So I'm going to say category equals and open some inverted commas. And in between the inverted commas, we can put our category name. And the category name was close out, wasn't it? That's great. And I think I've got about six of them. So I'm going to display it six of them on the page. Let's say per page per underscore page equals. Let's open some more inverted commas and let's say perhaps six on this one. And as there's six, let's display them in a column of three, perhaps. So let's say columns equal and again inverted commas in between put the number of columns you want. So I'm going to say three. And that's going to do it for me. Now, you may not see it on the builder end here once we've completed, but once we get out of the builder, it's actually shown up. There's our three columns here. Let's go down and save our changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. I'm going to publish this so we can add it to the menu and compare it later on. And let's exit the visual builder. So here's another page that we just created with a WooCommerce shortcode there. As you can see, it's displaying it. As it's a Divi page, you can put anything else on there you want. So there's another way of doing a page. The third and final way is using the Divi Woo plugins, and it's another really easy way to do it. So let's go ahead and add a new page. And I'm going to call this close out perhaps Divi so we know which it is. We'll use the Divi Builder again, obviously. We'll build from scratch. Again, I'm going to use a single column. Like I say, with the Builder, you can absolutely go to town if you want to. This time, I'm going to go down to the bottom to our Woo modules. And you'll only see this if you've got WooCommerce installed. If you haven't, a regular site, you won't see this module. So I'm going to click on this. And it gives us a whole bunch of new tools to display our products with. I'm going to roll on down. I'm simply going to choose Woo products. Now, what do we want to see? Here we've got several options. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to say, I want to display a particular product category. And as you can see, you can do top rated products, best selling, sale products, featured products, latest products, or a default. I'm going to do a product category. And I want to choose our latest category, which was the close out there. There it is. I think there's only six of them, so I'm going to say six. And as there's six of them, I'm going to sort them into a column of three because the column of four doesn't really fill out the page there. So let's roll down a little bit. Column layout. I'm going to make mine three. That's better, kind of fills out the page a bit better. And you can do default sorting, increment by menu order, rating, oldest to newest, however you want. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. And you can offset products as well if you want to display certain ones. You can choose what elements to actually show here. We've got no pagination, show name, image, price, rating. There's name and price. I've obviously got no ratings on these products. And a sale badge. We've got a sale badge there. And rather than having to use CSS to customize these, which I've done plenty of times in the past, we can go over to our design tab and you can actually style these how you want. We've got our sale badge there. Let's make it purple, perhaps. Those badges are now changed to purple. You can change the margin, the font type, as with all things Divi. Divi has a huge amount of fonts, it really does. If you want to audition one, simply roll over it. It'll give you an example. I'm going to use the default today, though. So you can customize it just about however you want with these, which is really easy. And if you're using the Divi theme, this would be my pro preferred method of doing it. So let's save our changes. I'm not going to go into detail about styling. That's up to you. Go down to our little purple button. And let's publish this page. OK, we can exit the Visual Builder. Let's go back down to our menus now. And we'll refresh this page and add those two pages. And we'll compare the three pages. 
there's close out divi and there's close out items and we'll pop them under this one here i'm going to add both of those to the menu it's showing us the most recent at the moment you can view all or you can do a search for specific pages which is handy if you've got a lot of pages so i'm going to add those two to the menu and as usual it's added them down the bottom We'll take our closeout items, which was the short code one. We did with a WooCommerce short code for that one. And that one's the category page. And as you can see, it's actually telling you it's a category page up there. And closeout Divi was the one that we did with the Divi Woo module. So let's put that there. We'll save our changes. And let's close these down. I'll get a new instance of the site up because we'll have to refresh anyway. And there we go, here's our site. Let's go to our clearance here. There's our first page, let's have a look at it. And here we go, here's our generic page that we should, uh, created just by adding a category page to the menu, which is fine, it's functional. You can buy things and add things to your cart, choose sorting and what have you. But of course, if you wanna stylize this, you've gotta add some custom CSS, which is okay if you know how to do that. Let's have a look at our next page, the closeout items. We did this with a WooCommerce shortcode. And we told it to display three columns and six products. And again, that's another easy way of doing it. Short codes are great. And both these first two methods will work on any WordPress site, as long as you've got WooCommerce installed, obviously. So here's our short code page. And again, it works absolutely fine. You can click on things, go to the product, and add it to your cart if you want to. And our last one here is the one we did with the Divi Woo module, or actually the Woo Categories module of the Divi Woo modules. And this one, we just added our category with the actual Divi module, and that has allowed us to style it and add columns without actually doing any coding. And this would be my preferred choice. Obviously, you've got to have the Divi theme to do this particular one. So there you go guys, there's three different ways of adding product category pages to your website. As I mentioned earlier, the first two will work with any WordPress theme, as long as you've got WooCommerce installed. And that last one there that we did with the Divi, you'd need to have the Divi theme to work that one. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, if you want to build an e-commerce site with Divi or Elementor or any other ones, take a look at our playlist page. We've got demos on there of how we built this site and several other sites too. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesign and TechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.